This week on Theme Park Bar, we're heading back to everyone's favorite tiki bar as I'm showing you how to recreate the pearl from Trader Sam's. Hello, my name is Matt and welcome to Theme Park Bar. I am a career bartender and an Orlando native who wants to show you how to make the best signature drinks from around the world and across the universe. Here at Theme Park Bar, we know the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. Tiki bars are awesome. In Trader Sam's, whether it's going to be the Enchanted Tiki Bar at Disneyland or the Grog Grotto here at Walt Disney World, are two of the best and some of the most iconic bars, if not the most iconic bars, in all of Disney's repertoire. You have great crazy antics from all of the bartenders and servers there with awesome interactive drinks. These bars really are attractions that you just can't miss. Now, I've already dipped my toe a little bit into the history and a little bit of the drink menu of Trader Sam's with my Shrunken Zombie Head video, which you can click somewhere around here, but I'm just really excited to be heading back over there to show you how to make another one of their world famous drinks. The Pearl's a pretty unique cocktail. Combining rum chata with cognac and tropical juices, it really seems to be a true original for Trader Sam's. Now, like many of the cocktails on that drink menu, this one is going to be interactive too. This one's a little more low key and chill, but still pretty awesome. While the bartender's making your drink, they're going to reach into a giant ass clam that they keep behind the bar and pull out one of these beautiful little pearls to uh, serve your delicious drink in. If you're really lucky though, you might be able to get one of your hands on one of the black pearls. They're really elusive though. I think it's limited to one in every 50, maybe even one in every 100. I don't know. I haven't been too lucky in my hunt, but I can tell you something. You're not going to need any luck to enjoy this creamy tropical cocktail. <laughs> you like that there? That was, uh, that was a segue. Yeah. Here's what you're going to need. One and a half ounces of rum chata, one ounce of Grand Marnier, three ounces of Pog juice, and half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. Now a couple of those ingredients, especially those mixers, might seem a little interesting to you. First I'm going to talk about the Pog juice. Pog juice is a, a product of Hawaii. It is going to be equal parts of passion fruit, orange, and guava juice all mixed together. You can find it in some grocery stores around the country. It's not that easy to get where I'm living and I didn't want to pay any online prices. So I simply just made some myself. Like I said, just equal parts of passion fruit, orange juice, and guava juice mixed together. I meant to record myself filming it. I just uh, kind of forgot to after a little um, research. Secondly, it's going to be our cinnamon syrup. This is a product you can't purchase online. You guys know I'd like to make stuff myself if I can. Simply combined two cups of sugar to one cup of water and four cinnamon sticks. I let it come to a boil and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. Just strain it out and have yourself a very delicious cinnamon syrup. What's really nice about making it at home is it's gonna be a nice sweet cinnamon flavor. It's not gonna be overbearing with that cinnamon heat that you find a lot of times with artificial cinnamon flavor. All right, it's time to get the Trader Sam's Pearl working here for you. We got our mixing glass with ice to start off with. All right, first we're going to be adding our base, an ounce and a half of rum chata. Rum chata is a very tasty ingredient. I love this stuff. It's made with uh, Caribbean rums, uh, real dairy cream, cinnamon. If you haven't had rum chata before, it tastes a lot like, uh, like mommy's iced coffee. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Right? Anyways, horchata, it's really good stuff. It's just kind of like a rum-based horchata, which is uh, cinnamon flavored. This comes from uh, Wisconsin. Authentic flavors of Wisconsin. It's tasty though, it's good. After that, we're gonna come behind that with one ounce of Grand Marnier, a orange flavored cognac. Last, we got three ounces of Pog juice. Pog juice, of course, being equal parts pineapple juice, orange juice, and guava. And lastly, half an ounce of our homemade cinnamon syrup. Grab your tin, give it a seal, and shake it. Easy stuff. Reach into your clam, pull out your pearl, and pour. Actually, all right. So if you, if you, uh, never actually done this before, the hole is really small. All right. So very carefully, I want to, yeah, 
There we go. Gently, gently. Not making a mess. Oh, Jesus. Uh, there we go. Got pretty much all of it in there. Always clean up your messes, grab a towel, wipe everything down. All right, we're going to garnish this drink really easily just with some ground cinnamon. Get a fun novelty long bendy straw. Toss it right on in. And there you have a Trader Sam's Pearl right there in front of you in your hands. We got a lot of good stuff going on here. The rum chata, the Grand Marnier, the cinnamon. Let's give this a shot. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Mm. This is wow. 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 Incredibly good. So you got, of course, a lot of cinnamon going on there with the cinnamon. Uh, the cinnamon syrup, of course, the rum chata, the cinnamon garnish up top. You get those tropical flavors of the, the pog juice with the guava and the orange and the pineapple. Everything is working there. This kind of kind of reminds me of... This is like, this is in the ballpark of like, I don't want to say Coquito and offend anyone because it's not in any way, shape, or form. But it's, this is, this tastes like Christmas. This... This tastes like more like Christmas than like eggnog. Like this is like that next level of Christmas drinks, of Christmas treats, where it's you're like you're in it. You're starting to get a little fun. You're starting to get a little funky. No, I need to. I need to do something real quick. This is this is too good. I'll be I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, yeah. I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. One sip of this, and you're gonna know exactly what's up. If you've had this drink before, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, guys, please try to make it at home. It's very, very easy to make, kind of a pain in the ass to put in the glass, but Christmas, right? It's very delicious. The creaminess of the rum chata with the cinnamon notes, of course, from the garnish and in the rum chata itself is amazing. You get that smooth cognac -y warmness from the Grand Marnier, of course, with the citrus uh, flavoring in there as well as the orange coming from the pog juice citrus is such an overlooked Christmas flavor but winter is the season of citrus man this is an amazing cocktail I I absolutely love this drink mm. I love the flavor of this drink and I just love the nostalgia that's in each glass this is fantastic and I really hope you make this at home if not for the holidays just for a fun Wednesday night in with the uh, your loved ones or yourself. Love yourself. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in this week to Theme Park Bar. Guys, if you haven't done so already, become one of my bar regulars by subscribing to the channel. And I want everyone to let me know, what's your favorite drink from Trader Sam's? I want to, you know, go through that entire drink menu. I want to make sure I name the stuff that y'all want to see. You can also chat with me all over social media at Theme Park Bar, both at Twitter and Instagram. You can find all my past videos at ThemeParkBar.com. And you can support the show by picking up a t-shirt at the link below. You know, look a little extra fashionable. Everyone remember when you're going up to please always be safe, drink responsibly, and never forget to tip your bartenders. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Cheers. Oh, hey! <laughs> I got a black one! Yeah! Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good week. <laughs> oh.